Welcome everyone to the MGM channel. I'm your host Cornish and today we're going to be talking about VR and something I've got now. So I said a statement back in 2020 on a drop in VR on my personal channel and this is what I said about it. So let's talk about the VR. Um, technology nowadays or VR nowadays is gotten a lot better from when I had it for the PlayStation VR. Uh, there was we had Killing Floor, we had Rec Room, but each of these games back then had uh, flaws to it. There was, only, there was only certain things you cannot do, like climb, grab hold of things properly, um, and interact loads with objects. Uh, except, for, I will say, uh, Rec Room from now has come a long way. Um, but we're not going to be talking about that. And with that being said, it's 2020. And uh, we've, we've got games like uh, Bonework, which is absolutely amazing. Um, we've also got the new Half-Life, which is really, really revolutionized everything. Even with the index, it, it was just nuts to see what uh, it's, it's become now. Heck, we even got uh, Saints and Sinners, which is an absolute awesome game. And with the survival aspect, I really, really enjoy it. And the replayability is absolutely incredible. That was what I said. And I said there's probably going to be some good stuff coming out. And uh, like the more and more VR has advanced, it's going to get better. And I believe it did. I hope it did, to be fair. Because I have got an Oculus Quest 2 to do an unboxing and test and see what my thoughts are so far. Uh, this is the first time I've had this. In fact, actually, it got delivered on Saturday. It's now Monday and I've yet to be playing with it. And uh, with with my real life job, of course, I have to work, gotta earn for a uh, living. And uh, yeah, so let's 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 have a look, shall we? Let's see what we got. Okay, all right, let's get this bad boy open, cause whew, I'm looking forward to this. So I'll be quite honest with you. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to be streaming on Twitch with this because the last time I did this was with the old Oculus and I had such a great, like, bad difficulty with this. So, let's see what you've got for me, Oculus. I do have some games, so that's not too bad. Ooh, that's a nice little box, isn't it? Alright. Let me open. You know what? Ooh. Now we've got the Oculus, and uh, before I open this, I want to do a big shout out to Freedom. Thank you so much, George Big Z, being amazing. Uh, I also contribute this. They help me fund some of this, and I can't thank them enough. So let's have a look. All right. Okay. You ready? So it comes in such a ready pack. That is so good. The packaging is amazing. Oh, these things are a bit chunkier than the last ones. What the? What? That feels weird, man. Wait, what's that? That one there. Is it, oh, I think this. That's, these weird buttons. But that's awesome. That's cool. So let's bring that one out. Oh, he's even got a nice little strap. I won't do anything yet. Not right now. Alright, so then we've got the two controllers. Let's have a look at the quest itself. Now, this one is 120... 20... Hang on. 128 gigabyte. I don't really need a huge deal with that. But that looks really, really nice. Oh, it's even got a uh, silicone cover. I wonder why that is. Second of all, how do you take it off? Huh? They give you instructions? Pretty weird. Uh, what else we got? This. I don't want to rip it, but I'm going to have to yeet this. So we got uh, move lenses left and right to find the clearest view. Cool, cool, cool. Now, this strap is somewhat confusing. Hang on. 
have to... It's, it's... Oh, oh that's comf... Whoa, 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 whoa! That is really comfy, actually. Holy shoot. That is something. Well, that's really comfy. The straps are pretty nice as well. Three mil jack. That's pretty nice. I need to get a headset with a three mil jack. Um, I, I do I believe there is speakers in this side and that side, but and I, I think I prefer it like inside the headset. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, it's really really nice. It it's more lighter. I, I feel like it's a little bit more lighter. It's meant to be a lot more better. No liquid cleaners, no sunlight on lenses. Okay. Is I think it wants me to stick the um, silicone on there. So let's give this a try. I don't know. I quite like the uh, I quite like the um, the softness to it, but then um, that's just me. Look, I don't like it. Um, you know what? Let me have a look up on this. The side for the moment. And by the way, this works even if you inserted the glass spacer. It works with or without. You're going to take your two thumbs here and you're going to push this plastic tab up. Oh. This okay. way. You should just unclip it. Okay. Now turn it on the other side and you're going to do the same thing. Put your two thumbs on each side. Yep. I'm going to push. Oh. Okay. Now this part should come right off. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And now what you have to do is... <laughs> I can't believe I'm looking for a the like, Oculus Quest. Guide. Big shout out for tips, ticks, fix. I know it's going to be a long buddy video, but all right, that's, that's how the glass thing works. So I want to test out and see what it's like. What's the difference? Let's, let's have a listen to see. Let's see what the difference is, because my glasses are pretty bulky as far. Uh, yeah. That's not working. <laughs> that is not working. Ah! Alright, we're in. I actually feels a lot more tighter there, I'll be honest. With you. Um my glasses like no. <laughs> But then, like, my glasses fall out, so... Okay, so, it, it, it half and half, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, oh yeah, what else we, do we have in this? You know what, right? Most consoles nowadays will I'm happily just, you know... Having some supplies. Hopefully, like, a free... Like, like a, a game pass. You know what? Alright. Got a little tiny box. In the box we have, of course, reference guide and Oxus Quest 2. Inside here we have the charger, the mini charger. Shame too bad because I've still I've got a massive one. And a USB C charger. Oh yeah. Well, with that being said, uh, I think I'm gonna have to get this set up and then let's gonna record let's give this record some stuff, shall we? We're going to see what it's like, I'm going to tell you what it's like, and uh, my thoughts on all this. Because I've got quite a bit of things to say about this thing, really. Yeah, like, I've got a lot to say. Okay, welcome guys, if you, ooh, if you can see. Uh, I already built a little bit of a place myself. I took some time. I got like these little steampunk things, which I kind of need to finish. Some paintings, got a fireplace, got a cat, got a crystal from something, and also the couch. Um, it's pretty cool, <laughs> as you can see. It's uh, something. It is something. About like that. This is the uh, little play store. I'm using Oculus Airlink. That's it. That's what it's called because using Oculus Quest 2 is good when you're away. However, it's just it's what it's not like this, all right? You know. You can even see down below. So, 
another cool thing I really am, well, I'm still finishing off building, as you can see, is, let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what we've got. Templates. The default layout, which is, which has all that in here, I think. Movie theater, retro wave room, construction, whatever. If a cafe, theater. Apparently, notification. Here we go. Are these re weekly rewards. I don't know how we obtain them, but they're for your place. What did we get? Oh, oh a sinister coffee table. Muzzy. And the dining. Oh, I need a chairs anyway. Uh, we've got, we've got loads. Ah, let's, yeah, let's do some quick unboxing. Oh. Okay. Yes, so will go well. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, oh, it's just a visiting a house this week. I guess you can earn others by. Whoa. Uh, Oh, it does bounce quite a bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall off. I'm trying to get it. Oh, I can't believe you just saw that. That was cool. <laughs> That's pretty. Oh. That's three. Yeah, I did see something. What's that? It seems. Oh. Oh. That's pretty cool. It really feels a lot nicer than any other VR I've tried out. Even the old Oculus One still had its problems. Let's get into the meat and sack of this. Because as I've shown you, that's that. Then you've got this. Now, I've connected my Steam VR, And let's see what there is. Now, playing the VR is really good. Using this bat is absolutely incredible with it because I, I've experienced playing the Oculus, the original one, and I had a little bit of problems with, as well as the other VRs, but this one feels so good to like attack the zombies and all with. Not to mention the uh, the stabbing in the head. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, stabbing the head and cutting off the head, which for zombies is pretty good. Uh, I, I, I feel, it feels decent. Now with the guns, uh, I was pretty blown away how easy it is to shoot zombies with with the shotguns or any weapons. Uh, I can actually, if you look properly down the iron sight, it actually does help because <laughs> I've had a few moments where I uh, didn't really have that problem. But uh, with that being said, I was pretty surprised to see how clean and good it feels to uh, play the v uh, Oculus Quest to on the VR with Walking Dead. Um, I didn't have no problem like frame rate problems. I didn't have no stuttering, and yeah, it was it was absolutely amazing. Another game I tried was Boneworks VR. I thought I'd stick it to the next level and connect Steam VR up, and again. I was so happy to see how good it works. It looks good, it feels great, and oh man, I've missed playing Boneworks, and hopefully I can do a huge storyline on that. 
um, with the fact that Bone Labs, which is Boneworks 2 coming out, it's going to be amazing on this. If this is anything like this still, oh man, I'm going to have so much fun. The shooting is incredible. I, I love the feel of the shooting on this game. And I've, I've got no problems with this at all. The fact I'm playing this wirelessly through my Oculus Air. Uh, connected to my computer in one room and playing this in the living room is it's insane uh, the sound and in-game uh, mic works on OBS which on the last o uh, oculus I've seen uh, didn't really work at all and there was a lot of problems doing that but this nah nah this is good this is good easy setup and no problems And then we eventually tried Zero Calibre uh, for a bit because I haven't had a proper play of this. So I gave it a go and oh my God, it's really good. It feels amazing. Uh, I was It was all intense, I gotta say. I thought this would be a frame rate problem, but nope, again, like a, 90, a lovely 90 refresh rate or maybe higher if I wanted to go up, but I thought I'd keep it in the cool spot of having a 90 refresh rate. Um, yeah, everything felt good. No problems at all. I think so far of the VR games I've tried out, I've not had a problem. I think one of them is the uh, Blade and Sorcery. It just feels like the frame rate's a little bit crazy, or is it just me? Uh, I, I think I need to tweak some settings on that, but I think that's the only one, if I'll be quite honest with you. So what can I say about the Oculus Quest 2? My god, it's insane. Because the first Oculus Quest I messed around with, I had so many problems connecting like to the to my PC. And that's what I mainly want it for because it's fun to have it wireless, but when it comes to streaming like myself, uh, I had to use a USB cable and then I had to do a lot of audio editing, um, which really sucked. It really did. I had to like download voice meter and I would be doing this, setting this up for an hour and it wouldn't work. But with the Quest 2, bang, straight on there. Sound and everything. And even screen for the, you know, for, for my OBS. I, I, I can't get, I can't get through how good it is. Um, there's even so, like, even if you're, like, taking it just out and about or, you know, taking it somewhere. Um... You can still get some really decent games on the Oculus Quest 2, so th there's no complaint in that. However, my only complaint is if you play in it wireless and you decide to play Steam VR, it's gonna hit a lot of power. So from time to time, you're gonna have to charge your battery up, which wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Uh, if you're in like, yeah, you know, if you're next to the living room or something. Luckily, I have a 36 meter cable. But this one is definitely perfect for my VR gaming and also doing reviews. Speaking of which, there's going to be so much reviews coming now. We're going to open up a whole can of new uh, features with MGN.TV. And don't forget to check out MGN.GG where we're going to do reviews on VR as well as like the technology itself and anything that's pretty good. There is a few uh, there is a few tweakings I need to do with the Steam VR and Oculus Quest, but uh, apart from that, that's it's it's really really good. Uh, would highly recommend for anyone who's looking for a VR. That's for sure. Um, luckily it works for my computer as well. And the fact you can play wireless now. So instead of it just being a cable, you can play wireless and it works as you saw. On
the fact that the um yeah the, yeah the fact that the oculus quest uh two is only 299 pounds and as well as 299 dollars it's insane it really is insane Again, I would like to thank MGN TV for this and uh, Freedom, George G and Big C. You guys have been absolutely amazing for that. Thank you so very much for supporting this. And with this Oculus Quest 2, we're going to make a ton of reviews. And there's going to be so much more to open for you guys. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. And take care. Have a good, wonderful day.